Hey, what's good, fam and friends? It's your brother Malachi Elias back with another quick word. Today, we are going to dismantle one of the worst false doctrines of all time that are leading many to the pits of hell. The false doctrine of once saved, always saved. Can you lose your salvation? Can you fall away from the faith? As the word clearly states, <laughs> what does it say in Timothy? In the last days, they're going to have uh, itching ears, hearing what they want to hear, falling for doctrines of devils. And this is one of the worst ones. Let's cover it quick in under 10 minutes. So what does Jesus say in Luke? He's talking to believers, repent, repent of your sins, or else you will likewise perish. What else does Jesus say? The parable of the sower. Seeds were planted, right? Some fell on good ground, some on bad. He said that some fall on good ground. People receive the gospel well. They're super excited to, to learn about the gospel and be saved. They receive it. But then Satan comes by and takes away those seeds right after the word is delivered. And then there's other times where the seeds are planted. And then persecution and tribulation comes. And what happens? These believers fall away. Those seeds, those seeds are destroyed. And these are believers that believe the gospel. But tribulations came. It got too hard for them. They fell away from the faith. And then some does fall on good ground and produces fruit 30, 60, 100 fold. Hallelujah. But um, what else? Jesus, the woman at the well, he tells her to what? He forgave her, right? But tells her what? Go and sin no more. What does Paul say? <laughs> There's so many, man. There's just so many. Um, Shall we continue in sin so that grace may abound? God forbid absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not now it doesn't mean that we're not going to slip up once in a while righteous man falls down seven times gets back up god's grace is sufficient he will help us overcome these sins it's a sanctification process but we cannot continue in habitual sin hebrews 10 26 says uh what does it say for if we sin willfully there remains no more sacrifice for sins and you're basically trampling on the blood of jesus on the cross and he was, of course, this is Hebrews New Testament, but yeah, they were talking about believers trying to uphold the Torah and uphold the old law, but it's still believers, family. What else? The, the parable, uh, which one is there? So many of, of the good fruit of, of the branches of the tree. So he said, you have to abide in me to produce fruit. And he's talking to believers. The believers are the branches. Jesus Christ is the vine. You have to abide in him to produce fruit. And the branches, the believers that don't produce fruit will be thrown into the fire. Into the fire, family. It's eternal lake of fire. What else? Um, the seven churches Jesus talks about in Revelation. It's also for our time as well. For all the churches throughout the generations. It wasn't just back then. So seven churches, body of Christ, believers, only two out of seven are in good standing. The rest of them are lukewarm. Uh, he said he's going to spew them out of his mouth since they were lukewarm. The other was uh, basically uh, worshiping Jezebel or something along those lines. So only two churches, Philadelphia and Smyrna, were in good standing with Christ. The other five churches, if they did not repent, they're on their way to hell. And this is in Revelation, family. Um, what else? There's so many. Um, okay, let's talk about the, the arguments. They say, oh, it's eternal security and sealed by the Holy Spirit. Seals can be broken. King, uh, King Saul was sealed with the Holy Spirit, and then the Spirit left him, and he was filled with devils. You can grieve the Holy Spirit. And then eternal security, you're secure once you get there. <laughs> it's not yet. It's not yet. You're eternally secure once you get to heaven. Then you have eternal security forever, eternally. You can jump out of his hand. He says, no, no one can uh, grab, snatch you out of my hands. But you have free will. You always have free will. You can jump out of his hand. Right? We have to have the context, family. What else? Man, there's so many. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 6, 9. It lists a bunch of people that won't get into heaven. He's talking to believers. The church of Corinth. Uh, drunkards, adulterers, fornicators. You know, it goes through all the sins, right? Basically, Ten Commandments. Idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. You can't remain that way. You have to change. There has to be a transformation. 
So that's why it's key, just like the Lord's Prayer, is a daily repentance, to repent daily. True repentance is a repentant heart, though. You're going to realize, you're going to be convicted by the Holy Spirit, and hopefully you're, you're paying heed and listening to when He is convicting you of that sin, and you quickly ask for forgiveness. You confess your sin and ask for forgiveness. And He's quick to forgive you of your sins. But the thing is, if you're repeatedly doing it, is that a repentant heart? If you, you know, you're getting drunk every day, getting high every single day and then asking God for forgiveness at the at, at nighttime every single day, is that real? Is, is that true repentance? You, you can't play God. We can't fool him. We can't hustle him. It's not true repentance, family. What else? Man, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many verses, family. Um, I'm trying to think. Help me, Jesus. But His grace is sufficient, family. He will forgive you. You don't fall into condemnation when you do do fall into sin. If you do, the devil's going to be in your ear saying that you can't be forgiven and da 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 da. You know, so you rebuke him. Use the word of God. Use the sword to rebuke him, and get back on your feet and go go harder the next day and, at, and, and you know press in to Christ stay in the word stay feeding the spirit with the word of God it literally feeds your spirit KJV preferably as a staple literally feeds the spirit the Lord showed me in a dream and that way your spirit man is strong so that you can defeat the flesh because it's a constant battle all the day long I start out the day every day like as my breakfast is the daily bread the, the word is the bread of life two chapters a day KJV and I'm straight I don't really have too many temptations. And then praise and worship, staying in prayer all day, really, you know, talking to the Lord all day, speaking in tongues, you know, and uh, it becomes a lot easier over time to where you're disgusted by sin. You don't want to have nothing to do with it. And we're talking about where your soul is going to spend eternity, eternal lake of fire or eternal heaven, <laughs> eternal Jeru New Jerusalem, where there's no more pain and suffering forever, family. It should be an easy choice, right? So we got to really be focused on Christ. Our walk really has to be, we have to really be centered and focused on Him. When you're focused on Him, nothing in this world really matters, family. You can't put anybody or anything over Christ. Follow the Holy Spirit daily. He will guide you. You know, we, of course, we love God. We love others, our neighbors as ourselves, right? But we don't make idols out of people or things, materials, Stay, stay kingdom-minded. We're so close. We're in the last seconds of the last days, family. Christ coming back very likely within 10 years. I had a dream about that. And you can see the, the writings on the wall. The signs are there. Look at what's happening with Israel and uh, Iran, Russia, China. I mean, it's all about to happen, family. World War III, worst plagues, famines coming. Check out the other words I have on the channel, on the YouTube channel particularly. There's a prophetic playlist of things that are about to happen. I've seen hundreds of dreams come true from the Lord some with receipts of with proof and this is going to prepare you and your family to get ready for these times i've seen civil war starting by next year in this country russia china islam conquering this nation one day the lord showed us to get uh, solar panels ready water systems uh extra food but make sure you're following his spirit and, and be in place where he wants you because uh he might move you away a lot of the coasts are about to be hitting with floods and tsunamis crazy earthquakes even nuclear bombs about to pop off so uh it's going to get crucial, family. So remember, God's got us, though. Have no fear, family. If you're following the Holy Spirit, you have nothing to worry about, nothing at all. Even the, you know, the apostles, the, the true believers, singing praises as they're about to get ate up by lions or crucified or getting whipped or whatever else. They're singing praises to the Lord, family. So keep, stay focused on heaven, which is forever. This life is so short, fam. We just got to make it a little bit longer. We can do all things through Christ, which gives us strength. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. Greater is he who is in we than he who is in the world of God before us. Who can be against us? So don't forget that, family. But remember, stay in repentance daily. It's not once saved, always saved. That's the worst lie from the devil probably ever. You have to live a holy, holy lifestyle. Without holiness, no one will see God, as, as the word says. So, uh... He'll help you out. Just feed the spirit over the flesh. Stay in the word. Stay in praise and worship. And endure until the end. I pray the Lord gives us strength and wisdom to endure until the end. And we shall be saved. In the glory forever. Hallelujah. Bless you, family. Take care. Stay strong. Let's get it. Let's go.